What's up everybody, this is Lawrence Ryan. Just wanted to do a quick video to address the inevitable circumstance, especially if you're new to Premiere Pro CC, of getting that loose or undocked workspace panel that does not seem to want to go back to where it came from. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily restore that to its original position or to place it anywhere you want on the screen so you can start customizing your workspace. And that's coming right up. All right, before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe and all follow, hit that notification bell, click on the like button and leave me a comment down below. All right, here we go. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro CC. I believe this is one of the default workspaces or close to it. And when I started working in Premiere Pro CC, I looked down here and I decided I wanted to try to move one of these panels. So I right clicked on it and I saw undock panel. So I clicked on that. And that did it. That removed the panel for me. I said, okay, so maybe I'll move it up here. And so since it didn't go in automatically, I right clicked looking for something like redock panel or, you know, restore function. And there is no restore function. I looked elsewhere and could not find that. So it turns out though that that is intentional because the undock function was designed to allow you to move panels or groups of panels onto a separate monitor so that you can build a small workspace basically on a separate monitor to free up space on your, your original workspace monitor. Okay, so you say, Lawrence, that's great that you can do that, but how do I restore that panel to its original position or move it to another place on the screen? So this is how you do that. Instead of clicking on the white bar, left click and hold below that on the name of the panel. And watch what happens when I move it. Now, when I move that panel around the screen, it highlights all of the panels that are behind it. What that means is you are now able to place this particular panel, the loose panel, anywhere you'd like on that screen, which is really very useful. So say for example, I wanted to place it up on the left-hand side here. Notice how when I move it around that panel, it highlights different areas of it. This is the destination panel here. In the parlance of Adobe Premiere Pro, those highlighted areas are called drop zones. And the drop zone that you highlight will position the panel that you're trying to move relative to the destination panel. So for example, if I highlight the left drop zone and release, I've now just placed my effects control panel to the left of the effects panel. All right, so just say you decided you would rather have the effects control panel be on the right side of the effects panel. That's easy to do. You could certainly right click and choose the undock function like we just saw, but there's a shortcut. There's an easier way. To do that, what you want to do is you want to hold down Control on a PC or Command on a Mac, left click and hold on the name of the panel you want to move, move it and release the Control or Command button. And now you have the free floating panel again. So then you want to go to your destination panel. In this case, it's over here. You can highlight the right side drop zone and release. And now your effects controls are on the right side of the effects panel. And this can work with any panel that you wish to move to any part of the screen. For example, if we wanted to go all the way over here, we could do the same thing. Hit controller command, left click, move it, release controller command, come over to this panel. Let's say we'll put it below the essential sound panel, release it, and now our effects controls are below the essential sound panel. There's also a tab drop zone, which I'll show you right now. So once again, you want to hit Control or Command, left click and hold on the panel name, move it out. And then if you go to the top of the destination panel, that is the tab drop zone. Release it, and now you have set up tabs where you have your effects controls and your effects. And once again, this can be used on any of the panels in the Pro CC workspace. So 
So, a related quick tip. All right, so in general, whenever we want to import a file into Premiere Pro CC, we could just use Control I, which will open up the uh, File Explorer, and you can select your files there, or you can go to File, and then down to Import, and that will do the same thing. And then you'll open up your project folder, you can select your file, that will place it into the project panel in Premiere Pro CC. And then you can just drag and drop it onto your timeline. And then you can begin your edit with that file. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. But there is a faster way that can save you time. And that's by using the Media Browser panel in Premiere Pro CC. What I did was I opened up my project folder in the Media Browser here in advance. And when you do that, that displays all the files and clips and assets of your project on the right hand side of the media browser throughout your edit. So if you find that you're working through your edit and you want to import a file, all you need to do is scroll through here, find the file you want and drag and drop it onto your timeline. And that automatically places it into the project panel. And that can save you some time. All right, all right, that is it for this video. Once again, please don't forget to subscribe and or follow. Hit that notification bell, click on the like button, and leave me a comment down below. This is Lawrence Ryan, and I'll see you in the next one.